Hi everybody, not a typical doctoring video, um, emotional one. But um, <clears throat> I think as a, you know, as a palliative care doc, I felt I gotta make this video for everybody. Um, you know, we always think that, especially professionally, we, we know what to do or what not to do when last days come um, until it hits home, right? Um, so yeah, so Chunya is actually, she walked away from, she just walked out of here, out of our cabin back on Saturday night. And, um, you know, it was a regular day. Um, we left the door open for her at night and she would walk into that door thousands times before but she didn't and she just left she went into the woods and we thought we lost her but I um, something kept telling me <clears throat> to look for her and um you know we got a dog search dog service amazing sherry and tucker and they found her um well they they pointed to right direction and then i heard her howling like really screaming in pain and we found her in the creek she was <clears throat> still moving slow very little um she took a couple of treats i gave her some water we brought her home and uh, she's been resting like this ever since uh, took a couple of sips of bone broth, but she's ready to go. She's um, in peace. And... You know, and interesting that <clears throat> I know that I have to let her go. You know, I already said goodbyes, and everybody did actually. And we've been talking about this moment for past many months. You know, and Angela kept saying that, you know, it's our attachment. Part of her soul has already been gone. She's been having a cognitive decline for past year pretty clearly, and um, has been very confused lately. Um, so yeah, and it's. tough because I know exactly what to do and what not to do um, and yet I struggle to not do what I'm supposed to not you know I keep trying to think well I should give her some food I should give her some water knowing that that's not gonna do anything um, so but I wish that every one of us gets this when we go you know in the place he, she loved, this is her, this is the place she loved, and outside with me, waiting and just being patient with the process itself. You know, I actually don't even know why I'm doing this video partially because clearly I can't <laughs> I can't be objective for doctoring here because it's too too close to home but but maybe it's part of my healing to, to 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 record this not just for the family but for everybody but yeah and so i'm gonna wait for her for a while and if she doesn't pass in the next couple of days i think we uh we're gonna call someone and um have her go but meantime whatever time she's got with me that's what we will have. It's, um, it was a very amazing 16 years. So. Yeah, but it's, it's actually the, the craziest thing is that I, uh, on, on Monday, I felt giving up. Uh, so that was two days in. And then on Tuesday morning somebody called from miles away about the wrong dog but the guy said oh that's your dog so I dropped everything canceled patients even and drove over 
but we of course we couldn't find her it wasn't her uh at that, that point uh, i already knew i wanted to set up the dog ser search dog and um yeah so she must have wanted to be found even though you know how we usually say dogs just go to die uh, it turns out that's not actually true they just get scared and they hide they they, they don't understand and they just they just want to be left alone and, and and afraid of predators because they're vulnerable so but she didn't want to die alone you know she uh clearly called and uh, and she won't she'll die in her arms uh, if she make it till sunday morning when kids and everybody else come then we'll be together with her celebrating her life story take care of each other <laughs>